Hi. Okay. So I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. I don't know what happened for anyone that was watching the last live I just tried to do a minute ago. I don't know. My microphone wasn't working. So this is take two. Take two. So yeah, I went to the dollar store yesterday for the first time in a long time. And probably since like last year or maybe January or February. So I spent $73 naturally because I love the dollar store. And hey, Sophie. And yeah, so <laughs> I spent $73. And actually, Sophie, I ended up buying you a few things there. So it's like, it's either going to be a sneak preview if you want to see what I got you or not. You're going to have to decide. And the saddest part is that $73 isn't even the most I've ever spent at the dollar store. I remember spending like 130 when I was in like eighth grade and I don't even know why I bought like 40 washcloths and there was no reason for it at all. So sadly, this is not even close to the most I've spent at the Dollar Tree. Um, Sophie, what is that shock sign in relation to like, why did you send that? Was it for the 150 I spent in like eighth grade at the Dollar Tree? Was that it? Don't forget to like this video. Like it now. And we'll get started. Jackie, the funniest part of Jackie being here is that she was with me at the dollar store when I bought all of this. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. So I got, I'm gonna just get started. So I already opened a few things because I bought them yesterday. So this was like a set of combs and picks. And I have like an Afro pick too that I got in this set. That's nice that I was using in another pick um that are in the bathroom but this was all a dollar for like two more of these picks too feel free to tell everyone about my cactus margaritas well you just did jackie was like losing it because she's found these cactus margaritas at the dollar tree like the past two times we went and she finally convinced herself to buy them today i don't know why she was not buying them because she's obsessed with them oh wow i didn't even see you put those in your cart yeah you didn't see a lot of stuff jackie you were very much in your zone so you probably don't even know half the stuff i got jackie okay so I'm just going to start with the stuff I already opened. So I also got this like black paint, tempura paint. I don't know. I'm using it for my protest signs, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. I got, I already, this one's already in use. I got this laundry basket for a dollar. That's a good deal. I've needed another laundry basket for a while. I use like cardboard boxes. Like, like I can't afford a laundry box. I mean, you know what I mean? Okay, then I got some poster boards and I've already filled out some of them for the thing I'm doing. So I got like these styrofoam poster boards. I got like four or five of them. And then I got these other ones that were like cardboard that you open. I'm not gonna show them because I don't feel like getting them, but they like open. So I got like probably like, I think I got nine, I think I got like 14 of those in total including both types the cardboard boxes bro dude it like be like that sometimes like but now i have the thing okay so probably the most controversial thing that i bought i don't want this to be right there so probably the most Ooh. okay sorry guys this is what happens when you go live without any preparation so probably the most controversial thing that i bought it's an 150 pack of straws i don't want you to judge me This is what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes you need straws, okay? That's all I'm saying. So we've needed some for the house in general. So I spill stuff on myself all the time. Is there a way to make straws better for the ocean? Like, what if I cut them all up after using them and then like molded them into Play-Doh? Like, would that be better? Like, I don't know what's best for the ocean when it comes to straws, but I bought these straws. It do be like that, Sophie, you got it. So I also got... Sour Ring Pops, a four pack. The reusable ones. Okay, that's not that's not the answer I was looking for. Um, <laughs> I got, let's see. I got Luna some cat treats. They're flavored milk, which is like the weirdest flavor ever, but it was either milk or like seafood flavored. So I went with milk. So I hope Luna likes them. Should I like get her here to try one? Let me know if you want, like, oh, she already just came over. She's ready. Come here, baby. Come here. Baby, come here. 
Come on. Okay. Luna, you want a tree? You want a tree tree? You want a tree tree? Oh, let's see if they open. I got you all excited and I can't get them open. They are from the dollar store, so don't get your hopes up, Luna. Okay. Here we go. You ready, Luna? All right. She seems to like them. Milk flavored. I think she'll like any treat I get her, to be honest. See her eating them? You're so cute. You're so stinking cute. There's no more. You already ate them all. Okay. So um, the next thing I got, Sophie, this is something that, um, oh, wait, just kidding. That's not what I got for Sophie. Never mind. I'm getting all my stuff confused. We, 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 we go on. So I got this for my brother. Don't tell him. His birthday is coming up. Um, so I got him some markers. You know, he has a sketchbook and they're double sided. So like one's thin and one's chunky and a dollar for eight of these. Good deal. So I got that for my brother. And then I got this for my stepmom because she makes a lot of skewers and stuff. So I have to hand this to her. It's like a hundred of these skewers for a dollar. Great deal, right? Great deal. Markers are fun. I agree. I almost ended up keeping them for myself, but I didn't. Okay, anyone who knows me knows how fucking, okay, I'm sorry, I mean swear, knows how obsessed I am, right, with this lamp. So, you see this lamp? I don't, I don't think you guys can see it. I'll move some stuff so you can see it. So, you see this lamp right here? Right here, the black one. I got that from the dollar store in, like, December, and it was a dollar, and obviously it's from the dollar store and it included the light bulb it was the light bulb and the lamp for a dollar so like i like this lamp a lot and i think that's a great deal so i bought it in white because the black one i only bought the black ones they didn't have any white but white should give me more like light so i got this one a dollar for the light bulb and the lamp <laughs> all right luna you're having a ball over here honey okay Okay. Very nice light, right? It's, it's, I was, I'm so happy they had it. So this one I actually have to put in my car because everyone that like went, that was like friends with me senior year knows how much I love to graffiti people's cars and they don't expect it. So I got another washable window, winder. <laughs> I got another washable window marker. Gonna keep this in my car in case I see any of my friends' cars when I'm somewhere or something like that. So I can embarrass them and write pro profanities all over their cars and my other car marker yes sophie and me we used to stake out we used to like go to mark's house and they'd all be like having a fire like the guys and we would just like sneak so like swiftly and then we'd write on their cars and be like uh like wsn and we'd write like stupid shit on their cars and it was so much fun uh come here okay so let's see honestly my favorite thing about you what's what's your what's your favorite thing about me that i like to write on people's cars what is it sophie um, okay, next thing I got, this one I'm probably, this is probably like, these are some of my favorite things I got at the dollar store. Paint brushes. What? Three and two packs for a dollar? Like, this is unheard of. Like, look at how thick the bristles are. I mean, it's probably not great quality, but I've been looking for bigger brushes. And usually they're like $9 each or something. And this was five for two dollars you can't beat that you really can't so i got these paint brushes to like do backgrounds on canvas and things like that that's the thing is that the art store the art store wow the dollar store has a lot of great art supplies like that's what i realized from this trip which is why i'm doing this live i don't usually just do lives about the dollar store um sophie why'd you say wow because of the paint brushes so this is another gift for my brother so hopefully he's not watching this i doubt he is can't freaking beat it. Yeah, Jackie. Water gun. I'm trying not to say it too loud so that they don't hear me. But I got him some water guns to go with the markers. I also I also got him this. I don't know what it is. I, I really don't. Mad Lab? I don't, I don't know. It's probably going to like make a mess. But I was like, if I was a kid, I'd probably want to touch this. Like, it looks interesting. So I got him this, too. The paint brushes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta throw this one in the fridge. What else did I get? 
I got these for my brother as well. You know those like balls that when you put them in the pool, they get heavy and then you like squeeze out the water and throw them at people and assault each other. Yeah, so I got him those. Luna, why are you trying to like do construction work underneath the desk while I'm filming? What are you doing, ma'am? Oh, she's looking for a treat. There's no, tr see, she's going crazy. These must be good treats. Um, so yeah, these are also for him. His birthday is coming up. And I, I don't know why I bought this. I guess I need glue sticks. Like, because I, I was looking for a glue stick the other day and I didn't have any. So then I saw these and I was like, who knows when I'll be looking for a glue stick again and need one. Construction work. <laughs> Am I correct in my understanding that every picture is $1? What pictures? Every picture. What picture is she talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, about pictures. So we got this. The next thing, this is, um, it's a three piece canvas, four by six. So it's three canvases in here of this size. Like what, $1, 33.3333333333 33 cents per canvas. I was thinking about doing a Dollar Tree painting video where I used one of these canvases and the paint I got from the Dollar Tree and the paintbrushes I got from the Dollar Tree so that it would all be like from the Dollar Tree because people, you know, paint, art supplies can be expensive, but like I wanted to do like maybe like a art video doing a painting that only cost me like $5 for the materials of or something like that. So it, regardless, I think this is a good deal on canvases, even if they're small and I want to do more small paintings. So I bought these. I'm weird. I want to do more small and large paintings. I've had enough of the in-betweens. I've lived my whole life in the in-between. I want to go extreme or minimal. Okay. This is also pretty a pretty exciting buy. I don't think a lot of people will think it's exciting, but I was excited when I found this. Look at how big this is. It's a permanent marker. I'm going to open it for you guys. Because I like... Here's the thing. <laughs> like, I know that these are kind of like for kids that don't know how to hold pens or maybe it's for like with people with motor skills people that have motor skill problems like it's hard for them to hold smaller pens but I don't have that issue I just have been really wanting a huge pen um I mean I don't mean pen I mean permanent marker so look at this bad boy let me write something okay I'll be honest it's disappointing because I expected it to be like thick so that it would be like a thicker Luna could you stop with the construction work people don't want to hear it Girl, I'm sorry, my cat is broken. So I, I'm still excited about this because it's huge and it has a lot of like ink in it and stuff, but I was hoping it would have a fatter tip so I could write fatter. Like I was thinking the tip would be as big as this, which I was mistaken. Still exciting, still a huge permanent marker. Um, I got toothpaste. This is my favorite toothpaste. And my teeth are kind of yellow. So perhaps don't buy this toothpaste. I'm gonna keep buying it because I like it, but I don't think it does a great job. Maybe it does. I don't know, my teeth are just yellow and I've been using this toothpaste for like 10 years. And even though my teeth are yellow, I'll still keep using this toothpaste because I like this toothpaste, even if it's not as effective in whitening as I prefer. So that's that. Let's see chisel tip instead of bullet tip yeah that's what i was looking for that's what i was looking for i should have like looked on the packaging i just got excited when i saw how big it was the this dollar store is awesome dude yeah the dollar store is awesome um what toothpaste do you use sophie productive dragon and productive dragon um yeah this is the best dollar store i've ever been to so it's huge it's like three times the size of the one in north reading so they have a lot of stuff Let's see, Crest. A lot of people use Crest, and Jackie, your teeth are usually pretty white. I just don't like the taste of, like, some of the, like, I have a Crest one, and I don't like the taste of it. Like, I don't like the texture. That's why I get the Aquafresh one, but as I mentioned, yellow. So, whatever. Um, okay, this one I got, this is pretty cool, right? It's a pencil and brush organizer for a dollar. So, like, you can put all your, your pencils and your brushes in it, and it holds 49, 49 holes, it says. So I was excited. Luna, can you stop it with the construction work? Gosh, these construction workers are crazy. So I was excited um, when I saw this, and I don't know. It seems pretty awesome, right? Like, 
because they're all separated, which is like, I keep my brushes in something that looks like this so that they're all together, which I don't like it when they're all so close together. I want to see them all separate as like separate bristles. So we got that. And let's see, another one of those. Um, this one's kind of weird. It's like a light switch. Um, <laughs> basically it's a light switch. Does it work? No, you needed batteries. So I bought batteries as well at the dollar store to go with this because my closet doesn't have a light in it. And like, it does have one light, but it's like a super bright light and it's like very intense. And it's like, I wanted like a casual night light in there kind of, um, but it doesn't have any outlets in the closet. So I didn't have any outlets. So I found one that you don't need outlets for. So we got that. And this thing is called Art Foam Roller with Tray. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just buy things. That's all I can say. Um, spend all my nights alone waiting for you to call me. Okay, then I have these paintbrushes. Pretty standard, but that's a good deal to get. Like, how many is that? Five of them for a dollar, 20 cents per paintbrush. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal, right? 25, I mean, not even 25, 20 cents per paintbrush of these. So I got those because I wanted more for like more paintbrushes for like watercolors and stuff of that nature. This was Jackie's find. Jackie put this in my bag, not my bag, my basket. Um, painter's tape. It's not much because it's only a dollar. So it's only this much. But just in case I run out of the painter's tape I have right now, because I've been using a lot of it recently. Jackie is also responsible for this purchase. Mod Podge. Yep. I guess it speaks for itself. So yeah, it's like a water-based sealer glue and finish. I've never used this, but I actually like have the problem that I never really put finishers on my paintings and then they don't look great. And I'm going to try, maybe I'll do like this as a fisher on the dollar store painting I do if I do that one. Put the paintbrushes back up, please. Okay. Um, you see them? Yeah, it's not bad, right? Dollar store. I wanted some more like this, so. Does that suffice? It's called this. <laughs> oh, there's six of them in there. I didn't even realize that. So it's it's not even 20 cents each. It's even more. I thought I counted wrong because I thought I saw six. You did see six. I counted wrong. Yep, there's six of them. So even better than I thought. This is interesting. Elmer's glue goes on purple, goes and then dries clear. So this is kind of cool for like, if like, so you can see what you're doing, but then it'll dry clear. Cause I feel like sometimes with like the clear glue, you can't even, I don't know. I needed glue anyways. So it's a big amount of glue. Good catch, buddy. <laughs> I tried to do it again to be like, thanks. And then I was like, uh, this is why I don't have swag. Let's see. Good catch, buddy. Great bye there. Um, love the purple glue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else did I get? I'm gonna try to throw everything now. I got this yellow paint. It's acrylic paint. Like what? This is a dollar. That's that the acrylic paint I thought was a great deal. Like this was one dollar. Usually like something like this would cost ten dollars at like Blick. I mean obviously it's not, it's like Dollar Tree brand, but paint is paint. I mean, obviously there's good and bad paint, but you know, I wanted just some paint. So one dollar for yellow paint. Love the purple blue. Oh, I already read that. Okay, um, Sophie, do you want to see, like, one of your birthday gifts? Or do you want to, like, not, like, do you want to, like, go away from the camera for a second? Or, like, are you ready for a spoiler? Because I got you something at the dollar store, Sophie. And I wasn't going to tell you it was from the dollar store. But, like, who cares? At the end of the day, it's not how much you spent. It's what you get. Okay, don't say it. Just show it. So what does that mean? Does that mean you're not looking? Is that what that means? Sophie. <laughs> I'll turn away. Okay, turn away now, Sophie. I'll show them now. And no one message about it in the live chat. Okay? I want to see. Sorry, Sophie. <laughs> okay, I'm showing it now, Sophie, so don't look. Only for a dollar. Like, what? Isn't that a good deal? So you guys can see it here. Okay, Sophie, I put it away. 
<laughs> She's like, I'm not looking. Okay, I put it away. So no one talk about it in the group chat. <laughs> Great gift. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I thought so too. Um, okay, so this was $1 as well, dollar store. And it's cool because it has like a little easel to it. So you could like stand it up and stuff, you know? So I thought Sophie, no, Jackie inspired this purchase. I want to keep the integrity of the gift. I'm glad. I just like love you too. Um, I just, you know, I want to show it to them and I want to give you the option. Okay, so more paintbrushes. These ones right here, a dollar. So 33 cents each, I guess. This is good for acrylic base paint or gouache. Spending all my nights alone, waiting for, I want to do a better catch. Waiting for you to call me. Um, I bought two of those three packs of canvases because it's such a good deal. How could I not, right? Um, okay, getting back to our other primary colors. Yes, I bought the yellow paint, but I also bought red and blue so that I could make any color because I'm sure a lot of you know, primary colors can make any color. So I got these two as well. Okay, always running out of these. So for a dollar, how could you not? And no, there's not 12, there's 15. <laughs> um, okay, this was a good deal, right? Like if you went to Blick or something to get this exact uh, palette, it would probably cost $8, it's a good deal. So we got a palette. Some, half the time I use paper plates like for palettes because I don't have I'm either using a few palettes at once for different paintings and I don't want to disturb them or I don't know speaking of palettes this is a six pack of palettes for a dollar are you kidding me like this is a great deal anyone that is going to do a paint night or something just go to the dollar store to buy it all in bulk because I bought it all like at craft stores and it's a lot more expensive so six of those in here for one dollar Great deal. Um, got some black acrylic paint. Just because I'm doing all those posters and signs, I figured I would need extra extra black paint too. Um, this was Jackie's. This is probably Jackie's favorite buy or favorite find that I got. Adult underwater goggles. I have a pool and I don't have goggles, so. That's all I needed to say, right? I'm also not a big goggle wearer. Like I always just open my eyes under the water, but I wanna like get out of the habit of constantly opening my eyes underwater because chlorine cannot be good for your eyes. So we got these. Hopefully they work. I mean, I have low expectations. Speaking of brushing your teeth, I also got a new toothbrush. This is the same one I already use and it's just a replacement because it's been a few months. As a contact wearer, goggles are everything. Oh, I'm sure they are. So yeah, I got this toothbrush, same one I already use. Okay, I think this is one of the last things I got for my brother's birthday. Like, it's just like a little happy birthday thing. So I can like put it up like in the kitchen or something on his birthday as a surprise. And, oh my gosh, Luna, girl. Why are you just gonna like jump onto my laptop? Like, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I'm sorry guys, my daughter has been misbehaving a little bit lately. She's just an attention seeker, huh? You love attention. That's what I thought, she's such an attention seeker. She's like, I'm gonna jump on top of the laptop because you're talking to them and not me. Um, hey Elon, Ugh, I just got my cat's like fur in my mouth. My, I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. So everything I got from the dollar store. Um, yeah, my cat needs attention at all times. Dre and Gabby say, hey, hey, ladies, hello. Did you guys end up having ratatouille that night when Jackie left my house? Okay, this is like the funniest, this is probably the funniest thing that I bought. Um, actually, I'm not gonna show it because I originally bought it for myself and now I wanna give it to Sophie. <laughs> so if Sophie wants to turn around again, I originally bought this for myself, but now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like it's a funnier gift than something to have for yourself kind of like when you sent me that like that stuffed animal you know what I mean you're like this needs to be my life but I don't necessarily need it um I'll turn away again okay are you turned away like are you okay guys this is a funny one so 
Okay, she's turned away. This is what it is, guys. <laughs> um, speaks for itself, right? I just want to see how it is. So that will also go in with the, the other gift I got for Sophie. Um, okay, moving right along. <laughs> you guys, they're funny. I don't know if they work. Don't say what it is in the group chat because Sophie's going to read it. I don't know if they work, but I guess Sophie will have to tell us if they do. So, <laughs> okay. And if Sophie, if you can already guess what it is, just guess. Like, if you have an idea of what it is just from what I said, guess, because I'm curious if you actually know what it is. Um, so I got these batteries to go in this. Luna, construction needs to stop. Okay, I got these batteries to go with my light switch. So I'll do this at the end to see if they actually work. Um, okay, the next thing I got. Yo, tell me how this was at the dollar store. People are paying like $45 for this. It's one of those like um rollers those facial rollers i don't know if they even work um but it was a dollar so i don't know why my first thought was a condom no i didn't buy you a condom from the dollar store i, I don't want you to get pregnant by accident i would never do that to you um, <laughs> um okay isn't this a good deal like a facial roller it says jade i don't know if it's actually made out of jade it looks pretty legit like it really does it says it's made in the US. I don't know. Yeah, dude, $1 facial roller. If you're interested in this, Sophie, like, I can go back and get you one too. Okay. Okay, um, some of the last paint I got, I got a white and a green one. I don't know, something about the shade of this green was really like intriguing to me, even though I usually make my own greens with blue and yellow. I just decided to buy this one. So I got these to go with the rest of the paints I got. Um, it was the do they work that got me. No, no, definitely not a condom, Sophie. Um, ring tops. This is, um, for my brother. Excuse me. Healthy burp right there. So this is for my brother, um, for his birthday. Hopefully he can't hear me because his room is like a few rooms over and I don't know how loud I'm being. And if I ruined all of his birthday surprise, I don't care because he's still going to get them. Um, and today's actually my cousin AJ's birthday. So happy birthday, AJ. He turned nine today. Not that he's watching this, but maybe his dad will, you know? So happy birthday, AJ. Okay. This one was inspired by Jackie at the checkout line. You know how that should go. You know how that should go. I was running through the six with my woes. So yeah, lighters. Who doesn't need a lighter at all times? Um, this I got to bribe my brothers with. Anyone who's like an OG, OG uh, subscriber knows that. My brothers are loud, and sometimes I bribe them to be quieter, or to not fight, or to let me sleep in. So I was trying to find like individually packed candies that I had, could get a lot for for a dollar. So I got these for bribes. Um, pixie sticks in grape, Maui punch, cherry, and orange. I might end up having some of these myself. Funny story: when I was in eighth grade, Jackie was sleeping. Jk, Jackie, I don't know if you were sleeping. Because I know you went to bed kind of early at this sleepover birthday party. So I don't know if you were awake or not. But I remember that this is before, like, this is in, like, eighth grade. So no one was, like, doing any drugs. Not that anyone does them now. But, I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, people do drugs in general. So I they dared me to snort one of these. And I did. And then after, I just sneezed and, like, red powder went everywhere. And I just remember every time I think I see pixie sticks, I, like, taste the, no the taste of them up my nose from eighth grade um that's a funny pixie sticks are bomb yeah they're pretty good right i love them so much i snorted them um just just the one just the one <laughs> um oh my god i remember hearing about you snorting the pixie stick dude you must have fallen asleep then because that was you were right there just like sleeping um these are this is a great deal so glue sticks for your hot glue gun but there's 20 of them for a dollar. What? That's like five cents a glue stick. Usually they're like 10 of them for $5 at Walmart. I might have been there. Sophie, you weren't there. Um, I, I read that message wrong. Sophie, this was Krista Conway's birthday party in eighth grade. I, I don't know. You know me. I have the best memory in the world. And I know you weren't there. Um, don't worry. Erin wasn't there either. You know, you're not, you're not out of the loop. Okay. Um, I got some tempura white paint. Yeah, I don't even know why I bought this, but I did. Maybe just like in case I ever run out of white paint, I could do half of this, half acrylic. I don't know. So is that everything? Is that everything? 
No, it's not. I bought these. Um, paper towels, just because like I always need paper towels for either cleaning up my cat's throw up or spills or painting or eating. So I bought these because there's a dollar. So the other things that I don't have in front of me right now that I that I got, I got like one of those big aluminum trays and I gave it to my stepmom because she cooks like pork shoulder in that often. And I think it's usually expensive elsewhere. But yeah, I think that's everything I got. This was a great haul. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I love the dollar store. And I, you know, maybe you can find some of this stuff at the Dollar Tree near you. Okay. I'm opening up this thing right here. Um, oh, cool. It comes with like little sticker things. So you can stick it to the wall. Just because I want to see if it works. So how do I put batteries in? Oh, right there. Okay. Okay, tell me how it requires... Okay, three. Good. I thought it required four batteries. I was like, I only have three. Okay. Okay. So um, for those of you, I know that Elon is in this group chat. You should definitely follow her on Instagram because she has like a great link in her bio, which links you to like every single um, petition that you can sign. And there is like literally hundreds in that link. And so Elon, do you mind just putting what your Instagram handle is in the group chat so that my friends can follow you and check out that huge link you sent full of the protest, um, the petitions, because there was really unique petitions, like ones that are petitions against like changing murals to have more inclusivity in, in cities and stuff like that. So check out her Instagram. Um, it's Elanio, I think at Elanio, I don't know how um, you pronounce that handle, but it's, it's a great link. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh, not only is it bright, like it looks so bright for you guys right here, but like, look at that, that, okay. Like I'm with it, like what, what? Let me turn off the lights so you guys can see. What? Like this is a real light, like, ha 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 ha. No, but seriously, isn't it funny how much your face changes? Hold on, ready? Look at how different my face looks depending on the source of the light and what angle it's at. Beauty is all fake. It's all just angles and lights. <laughs> Y'all, I'm like not holding back. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> not that I ever really cared. But what do you guys think about this? I'm going to put it in my closet. I think it's perfect. I mean... It's just what I wanted it to be. Great for painting different perspectives. Mm. It'd be cool. I could like put it here and like paint a, a self-portrait, put it here and be like, Luke, I am your father. You know, it's cool. It's cool. We would it. So yeah, that is everything I got from the dollar store. Do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything else you guys want to hear about? Let me know now or forever hold your peace. Um, but one more time, E-L-A-N-Y-O-O -O is Elon's Instagram handle. Follow her. Click the link in her bio. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to, like, spend some time. I like to do, like, Titian's kind of late at night because, like, you know, the sun's not there anymore. It's, like, I don't feel, like, you know what I mean? I'm just, like, chilling. So that's why I like to do my petitions later at night before I go to bed. But now that there's such a huge link for it, I'm going to try to do like at least five petitions a day. Um, let's see. I'm going to make a project about unity. Oh, my gosh. Like, what do you mean? Like, can you tell me more about that? Are you going to do I might record it? Luna, I'm trying to hear about Elon's unity project. And you are like face first in some plastic bags over there. Like, come on. Um, definitely record it because I want to see it. Um, Elon has a great YouTube channel. For anyone that likes to do like at home workouts, it's really great. You can like, she has a lot, she has like full body workouts. So check out her YouTube channel. And I also like, I'm really excited if you actually do your Unity project on YouTube because I want to hear about it and I want to see about it. And it seems interesting. And I'm all about Unity and projects and them being recorded. So <laughs> you totally should. I'm a paint on a big camp. Oh my God. It's a surprise. Oh, I'm so excited because I've never seen um, your paintings or anything. And I just, 
I'm I'm really excited. I love I love big art projects. This is my okay. This is a sneak peek. Only Sophie has seen this so far. So this is currently the bigger art projects that I have been working on. Um, let me see if I can show you guys here. So it's a big canvas that I covered with denim. This is all denim, and then this is denim. This is denim too, but I covered it with painter's tape because I'm gonna paint on here and I don't want that to get on this part. So this is a sneak peek to the next big project I'm doing. And if you guys saw, um, if you check out some of the sketching videos that I posted, like I think I posted it Thursday, I posted a video of me sketching. You'll get a sneak peek of what's gonna end up on here. I also have this, It okay, like, just because you all are some real ones, I'll give you another sneak peek. Let me grab it. Okay, so I spent like 10 hours doing this, like no joke, like 10 hours. Um, do you see all these flowers? Let me make it better for you guys to see. Um, I don't think that made it better. Do you see these flowers? These are all flowers that were on t-shirts that I had and I cut them all out. So that took a long time because there, some of them are like very small, some of them are larger and I cut them all out of my shirts and these will also be going on that canvas as well as to accent, to accent the painting that I'm doing. So I'm gonna paint on it. This is gonna go on there too, so Lots of repurposing of clothing, which is new for me. So that's a sneak peek for the next like big painting I'm gonna do. Let's see, I gotta head out, but I love you. I love you too, thanks Sophie. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Um, that's everything I have to show you guys. So I guess I'll just stay on for another minute. And if you have any questions about anything, you, you can literally ask me anything right now. I don't even care, it could be anything. Just ask me right now because otherwise I'm a dip. So just let me know. But yeah, t uh, cutting out those flowers, <laughs> so time consuming. Um, but it was like something I needed because it was right when George Floyd had passed and like right when I found out who George Floyd was. You know what I mean? Like when you're like, who is this man? Oh, this is what happened to him. And I just felt like very numb. And I wanted to create art, but I wasn't ready to do anything more than something that was tedious in preparation. So I cut out all these flowers for like, like five hours, like two days in a row, because I just needed to do something instead of like mourning. Like I need to t turn my mourning into something more than just mourning. So that's why I did that. Um, but yeah, so I cut out those flowers like a week or two ago and I got the canvas all prepared. The only really, the big next thing I have to do is paint, but I'm working on all my posters first because those of you who have old photos of what I used to do. Ooh, okay, can you actually send me that handle? Like, can you send me that on Instagram? Um, or can you send me a message? Like, can you send that Instagram to me? Um, so like those of you who know I'm doing um, this thing where I'm selling posters, protest posters for $15 and the donations, 100% of them go to Mass Bail Fund and to Black Lives Matter. So I currently have only done three of the 20 orders that I got in the past day, yesterday. So I got to do like another 17 of those. And it's like, it doesn't look difficult, but it's more so like just tedious and time consuming. So I'm going to finish all of my poster, the protest posters, because that has time urgency to it. So my plan is to finish those first and then to start the painting that I just showed you guys all that stuff about. I originally was like going to do the painting right away. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, what if I could raise money? So we raised three hundred dollars. Um, I sent a hundred of it today to Black Lives Matter. I was originally going to do 50 50. But I know for a fact that Black Lives Matter is getting a lot of funding right now, like more than it usually does. And I don't think Mass Bail Fund is getting an exceptional amount of funding. So I did 100 to Black Lives Matter and 200 to Mass Bail Fund. So hopefully some people can get out, um, can get bail from that. Because honestly, like as much as funding Black Lives Matter is important, I just want to give like a tiny bit like more to Mass Bail Fund just because that 
immediately affect someone's life. Like they can get bail immediately. I think bail is like $40 usually or something. So hopefully that helps. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for tuning in. If there's nothing else, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to organize all of this and leave. So thanks again for watching. Please check out my latest videos if you haven't. I have a nine minute knee video because I went to this like vigil in Chelmsford for Black Lives Matter for George Floyd. So if you weren't able to attend any protests or vigils, you can join us digitally by um, either just doing the knee. So just literally taking a knee for eight minutes and 46 seconds or you can just watch the um, video I posted of the recap. So just check out some of the latest videos on my channel. Please like them every time you do. And thank you guys for being some real ones. I hope that you enjoyed this. And thank you guys. Like you're like saying thank you to me, but like thank you to you for watching. So have a great rest of your day, guys. Stay safe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.